We probably will. And that means we get two bananas on the screen. We're playing Brawl, Ooh. ladies and gentlemen. Yep, Rex locking in the Diddy. Let's see what Peko putting on for. the cat ears, the automatic power up. You already of know. Of course. <laughs> Make sure that people could see the glizzy tea. Up, oh, never mind. And we're getting into it. They disobeyed me for the oh, last time. Tragic. We are returning to Monkey. Yep, we are going to be on PS2. Two monkeys right now. All right, I got a look. All right, so Rex is the yellow Diddy and Peko is the yeah. red one. Okay. Just Rex is Rex and Peko is not Peko. Yeah. I just got to make sure I'm looking at the right Diddy. And right now we got a pretty, well, not really even game, but kind of like a slow paced start. Not really too many big openings going on right now. Yeah. It's I interesting to see because, like, they both know they'll have access to Banana. But I want to see if they could play, like, a double banana scenario, kind of like Brawl. I feel like right now, Peko is actually opting for exactly the opposite. I don't think we've seen Peko pull banana once, and it is instead opting to wait to punish Rex to throw out a, for throwing out a banana and then using it for his own nefarious gains. I guess so. But you got to, like, pay attention to the little triangle above the banana to see whose banana mm -hmm. it really is right now. Like, now, it, like now it's Peko's, not... Not Rex's, but now Ledge Trap coming in. What do we got? Yeah, and I really like the way that Peko is playing so far. It feels like very aggressive spacing. Even when he's not, uh, you know, pressing a lot of buttons in Rex's face, he's using his spacing to really make Rex feel uncomfortable, especially for doing things like throwing out a banana. But Definitely. Now, but Peko now Rex is starting to answer back a little bit. Yep, starting to get some percentage on Pekka, but Rex is in those really dangerous percents. Definitely so bleeding right now. Down tilt. Down tilt forward air. Not going not to take it, it just quite, yet, but yeah. down tilt up smash might still connect here. Or just a raw up smash. Up smash, by the way, is frame five out of shield, which kind of crazy. Ooh, all right, and also up tilt might kill right now. People forget that move kills too. But monkey flip, monkey flip that'll do it too. It. Yeah. Now, Pekko, I think that that might be the first time we've seen Pekko throw, like, actually pull banana in this entire game one. I think so, too. Got it. <laughs> they're, they're just monkey flipping back we're, and forth. We're monkeying around right now. Yeah. I feel like Rex is, like, being a little too reliant on his banana while Pekko's just waiting for him to pull the banana and looking for his punish without it. Yep. All right. Rex now has to find his way Down out to of the up corner. smash, and that'll even up the stock count. 55%, not too bad. You can definitely bring this back, especially with Diddy. Good damage output off of pretty much any neutral interaction. And there we see again, Peko playing like pretty react, reactionary, you know, just waiting for Rex to shield on the platform so he can get that monkey flip grab. Yep. Get some more damage onto Rex, who is now climbing to 120% off stage now and bananaless. One oh. thing about banana, but not necessarily banana, but Diddy's monkey flip. It creates a mix-up in and of itself because you got to, like, guess to see if they're going to do the attack or do the grab. So if you're holding block, and it's pretty much on the day to react to it. So it's kind of a little mix-up in and of itself. Which, did he hold shield a lot? So wonder how that will affect the ditto. Mm -hmm. And, and as, I, as I say that, second stock is going from Rex. Pekka looking really healthy right now in this third stock. Uh-oh. Uh oh Brawl stuff. Oh, oh, wow. With a combo. Okay. That works. It just feels like this entire game one, Peko has been the aggressor, and I, I feel like we're starting to see a bit of like fear come out from Rex. For and sure, and Peko is fully aware of it too, and he's taking full advantage of it. Exactly. All right, using the monkey flip to get back into center stage. Shout out to Jeff for the follow. No, thanks for following. Jut, famous Twitter guy. All right, finally Rex getting a little bit of a combo to put Peko off stage. Great use of the forward air to keep the situation going, but Peko just fighting his way back into center. Misses nice the up smash dodge. there. But now you're stuck at ledge against Diddy. That's not a good place to be. <laughs> just tra trading down tilt whiffs. Hey, down tilt's a pretty good move. It's pretty good. 
not as broken as Smash 4, but still pretty damn good. And you can see Rex is really looking to set up for this kill right now, and yeah. he really has to, because he's he's bleeding, and Peko still has a whole stock left to go. Yeah, definitely. It's going to take a while. Where did that one come from? I guess he didn't see the banana there, tripped on it, and Rex capitalized. That banana just fell from the heavens. Yep. And another banana uh -oh. coming in. Uh-oh. Looking, looking for the landing there into the down air confirm, but not going to get it there. But... Rex starting to bring this back a little bit. It's not out of the realm of possibility. Uh, Ooh, but that up smash, catching the spot dodge. That is game one going to Peko. Yeah, and Rex kind of shaking his head there. Knew, knew that he had the momentum on his side there at the end, but it was just a little bit too little too late. Yeah. But let's see. He started to adapt a lot towards the end of game one. So let's see if he takes that into game two and makes his adjustments to take the game and possibly force a game three. I think it's possible. Oh, That's absolutely. pretty good. Yeah. Dang. This is for this is to make it out of pools? Damn. Yeah. All right, this is like unranked New York, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I want to hear these bum regions like Florida, like, talking all that good. Our region is messed up. We're cracked. Terrifying. And I did see we are going to small battlefield for our game two. This is Rex's counter pick. Best stage in the game. Hell yeah. Definitely. I'm so much more in favor of starting small battlefield than PS2. Please. Because that, that stage ain't neutral. It's not. PS2 it's is so. The PS2. Yeah. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Yo. Never mind. Peko. <laughs> Calm down, bro. Peko said, stop you. talking about stages. Said. Let me give you a quick dunk. Call me LeBron. <laughs> All right, nice pressure from Pekka right there. Keeping it safe using the monkey oh, flip. Oh, looking for an air dodge there. Yeah, Rex wanted to answer right back, but Pekka not giving it to him. Keeping things ambiguous yeah. using the jetpack barrels at the ledge. But Rex keeping this advantage right now. Yeah, Rex, so far, really not shaking here in this game, too. Yeah, only 35% on right now. If he gets his kill soon, like, it's an even game again. Yeah, and Rex is playing really well around this monkey flip right now. I feel like he hasn't been caught by the grab in quite a bit. Yeah, now it's on Peko to adapt back, which he's been doing pretty well with that so far. 65% now on Rex with three stocks still to go. 107, you're not necessarily in, like, crazy death percent unless like, you get hit by something crazy. But it's definitely getting close. Definitely. Yeah, now you're starting to bleed a little bit. But Ooh. missing the up smash? Oh, and almost getting the up air after the, the down throw. That might have killed at that height. Yeah. Rex trying to keep the pressure on here at the that, ledge. See, yeah, that's a really tough situation to be in regardless. Like, Diddy has everything covered there. Whew. But down air off the top. That is one of the strongest spikes in the game, too. Just exploded. But that up smash, that'll take it. Now, Peko up a full stock. Yep, getting a little bit of charge on that up smash, too. Really make sure it kills. And yeah, Definitely. zero to zero. And Peko oh, on first looking for Oh, looking for blood on that last stock, too. Like, that was. All right, let's see if Rex can do what he did in game one and really start pulling the momentum back in his favor, with especially with some great ledge trapping. But Peko seems to be winning a lot more of these scramble situations so far. Definitely. Ooh, I just, love the extended Just putting him back off stage. Like, now you're at the ledge again, dealing with Diddy's ledge trapping again. It's a really hard situation to be in for anybody, oh, but, that's oh, that's it. unfortunate. Damn. Oof. That's the, the The pressure from Pekka was just relentless at the ledge. It was. Every time, it's like, Pekka wasn't even really looking for any of those explosive, like, down airs, except at the very end, because each time, you know, you're just putting on more damage, you're resetting the situation, a relatively, like, really comfortable situation for Pekka. That was insane. That oh, yeah, that, that was lit. That was really nice to watch. But Rex still in loser, still in top 24. Good luck to him the rest of the bracket. Losers is a 
death sentence right now. It is. It is a shark pool down there. Yeah, you, you, you don't want to be down there right now. And Peko moving on to winner's quarters now, I believe. 